Well, <clears throat> this is, uh, well, yeah, uh, field content modbus plus, ah, uh, modbus function. Okay, every function has a, has a, has a, has a special, you know, set of bytes or a special set of characters, a set of hex values that, that you're going to be writing and then there are some kind of uh, some kind of uh, <clears throat> uh, some specific kind of response that you're expecting from the device so we will really be writing uh, drivers uh, say say yeah for for uh, for function hex zero one and this the function hex zero one to a master to a slave means you're trying to read coil status that means there's a bit which is a you know memory address inside your uh, PLC which you have just you know you have you have already programmed you know your PLC is running and then you want to read the value of that particular bit it could be a memory bit and it could be ah, since this is coil this is both read and write this has to be an output bit yeah so <clears throat> you could so if to a PLC programmer, uh, it will really mean that if I say function hex zero one, it will really mean that I'm trying to read the value of a of an digital in uh, digital output value, which which is single bit. And then these are the values. Uh, this this is the query I'm supposed to be throwing at, at to the uh, to the PLC CPU. And uh, my laptop will send this to PLC CPU uh, and then slave has to reply that that particular slave has to reply in terms of uh, this this PLC has to reply and PLC will send me this response and how these these things are uh, electronically converted in, you know how these numbers are related and which is what will take take a very deep look at, look at all these things right now I'm just trying to see the functions and, and really you know, have a bird's eye view and at the Marbus document so that yeah you get a little feel you know how it really looks like what it really looks like 02 function 02 is read, read input status input status is digital input bits it could be a limit switch somewhere you can't really write to it uh, you can really check whether the input is on and off you know it could be an a1 a2 contact of a of a contactor and then could be some 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 feedback a single bit feedback again this is the query that you have to send to do that to accomplish that and this is the kind of response you'll expect from the device read here holding register means you're trying holding registers are so 16 bit you know registers inside your plc cpu and and they are both read and write i mean you can really read to it and you can really write to it so this also becomes and if you are if you are a plc programmer this is an analog output this could be a memory uh, value this could be a memory register and this also translates to analog output because these are both read and write you can read and write you can really write a value to your own analog output and then you can really read what's the you know present status and it could really be uh, your uh, memory address as well need not be interfaced directly to the uh, field again this is the query that you have to send this is the um, response that you have to decipher yeah 04 hex 04 is code modbus code uh, modbus function hex 04 means read input register this will typically be an analog input uh, yeah in my case it will be uh, I'll be reading some temperature values on over RTD so that's what I'd be doing again this is the query and 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 this is the response and we will see all these values while we will be writing you know C sharp um, driver for it once we start writing the driver we will we'll see you know what is what and force coil means means 0 5 means you want to uh, set a digital output to either on or to off it's like you know it's like it's like 
energizing relay or a, or a contactor yeah so this is what it is and, and of course I mean you can uh, read the value see inside the software and then try to force it on and off on or off yeah this is the response that you'll get if you throw that query to, to that PLC again I'm not trying to go very much deep inside the protocol and right now preset sing and I'm just trying to have a bird's eye view because because <clears throat> once we try to write the drivers we'll come to these topic these these you know functions once again and we'll try to study them in, in detail and then then write a driver and and we'll really test those driver over the hardware we'll really see that whether I can really force and and, and digital output bit on and off and if at all there is some problem with the driver we'll 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 troubleshoot it and and we'll we'll proceed like that zero uh, six is uh, what uh, preset single register preset means giving a register value so this could be a uh, any memory register 16 bit wide and if you're trying to write some value inside that yeah this is the function modbus function is going to be used this is how this is the structure of the query and we'll write our, our, our electronic packet like that in terms of hex bytes and we'll send it, send it over serial port and we'll uh, expect some kind of uh, response and this is the response which we have to decipher what actually happened once we throw the query to the PLC read that ah, not quite necessary these days then uh, fetch common event counter uh, not needed these days nobody implements it and at least I have not seen device implemented nobody does uh, logs you could probably have a device that has these functions but they don't you know seem to be report ah if you are messed up with the IDs, you know, this is the query you can fire fire, fire on a slave and slave will res, you know, respond with, with the ID which has been set to it. IDs are like, uh, IDs uh, actually it's, it's done in hardware so that every device, every slave device has a unique number on the bus and this is how master uh, recognizes slave devices uh -huh. Uh -huh. what else what else what else what else ah, not needed not really needed not really needed I will I am interested write general reference continue not interested but yeah, my PLC doesn't do all that mask write for X register uh -huh. mask means uh, protect so mask write for X register means that probably you're masking it means you'll not be allowing anybody else to write it. I don't know. How would why would somebody try it for its resistance? Ah, yeah, this is something. Uh, once I wrote a driver for it, you've got a forex register. You can, you know, in a single query, you can read the value, and if you find in the, inside the same query, you can you can write it. Yeah. Previously, we saw the function in which read was separate and write was separate. Using this seems to be more efficient way. If you've got lots of data to be written to your PLC, uh, this seems to be efficient way of doing it. Uh, personally, I have never, you know, I never felt it. It was needed for me, so I have never written. Honestly, I have never written drivers. Or did I write a driver for it? Oh, I, I tried. Yeah, I guess I tried it once. But yeah, I mean, not that important. Uh, read FIFO Q. Not interested. Uh, what else? What else do we have? I am interested in not diagnostics. I am interested in exception codes. Come on, where are they? Mac. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where are exception codes? Because diagnostic, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Diagnostics continue. Diagnostics continue. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, because 